So, I know a lot of you out there rock with speaking when it comes to cases, when it comes to screen protectors and everything like that. And personally, I'm a fan of them too. If you didn't see my last video, I think I posted maybe the video before last. I posted a video of the Spigen iPad Pro cases, so be sure to check that out if you want to check out some cases offered by Spigen. But this time, we're going to get into some screen protector options offered by Spigen. And yes, we are taking a look at the glass TR Easy Fit. Now, if you're not familiar, this is what I run on my iPhone. This is one of my favorite, well, not one of my, it is my favorite go-to screen protector for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have it on my 12 Pro Max down here on the ground because I don't want distractions when I'm recording. And I also have a little box back there of some extra ones just in case something goes wrong. But this time we are checking out this gigantic packaging for the iPad Pro. It seems pretty straightforward. If it's anything as easy as their cell phone, smartphone model, they have the installation tray to make sure there's an easy installation for everybody out there who may have a little bit of anxiety when it comes to installing those screen protectors. So let's go ahead and get in it and let's slap it on my iPad Pro and then we'll do the scratch test and all of the above. We'll go ahead and jump into it. All right, so like I said, man, I can't even fit all of the packaging in the frame, man. It's it's great. I don't need anything for this, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's look at the outside packaging first. Glass TR Easy Fit. I think only one comes in here. A lot of screen protectors. I love to see two packs of protectors when they come in packaged all together because if you get if you get one and you mess one up, then you can kind of have another one to fall back on. But this one, I think it just has one, if I'm not mistaken, which is all good. So you already know this is for the 12.9 inch version. Easy installation, oleophobic coating, real glass, and nine. H on the surface hardness. Now, you know, we're not looking at no installation videos. You know, we jumping straight in. You know, rookies when they come to this. So let's go ahead and see what's, and they got some tape. All right, let's get the boom, boom. Let's put this tape open. Let's go ahead and open it up ah, and see what we got. So right off hand, we have the installation frame. As you see, glass easy fit right there. And right here, I'm pretty sure we have the cleaning kit. So let's set this to the side. Let's set the installation frame to the side. And like I said, man, we aren't reading any directions. I mean, I I'll glance at them. Let me just glance at them just, you know, just, just in case something may happen or could go wrong. Let's, let's just look at it. All right, I've had enough. It's just like the smartphone version. If you're very familiar with that, it is literally just like it. As you can see right here, the press and slide, it's literally the same thing that you do for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So before we get started, all right, let's go ahead and bring the iPad 12.9 inch. Man, love this thing right here. Let's go ahead and bring this over and let's set this to the side itself, the installation frame, and let's go ahead and clean it because that is the critical first step that you always have to do when you are talking about installing a screen protector. So inside this, let me go ahead and show you what you get. You get a uh, squeegee, a spongy, and uh, it's just telling you how to use the little squeegee. We already know about that. You get some dust stickers there. You get a cloth so you can go ahead and wipe it all down and you get some wipes and here is that squeegee. So first things first, let's go ahead and take one of these lens and screen wipes and let's make sure we have all of the debris off of the screen because that is the most critical step of them all when you're talking about doing these installations. You gotta make sure that you don't have anything on the screen and you want to, I have something up there that was some weird mess, but I think it came off my last screen protector, but let's give it a wipe down. All right, after you hit it with the wet wipe, just go ahead and get the dry one and let's go ahead and give it a quick dry off. Make sure you kind of Rub it lightly. All right. After that, you want to go ahead and get the uh, dust removal sticker. And let's go ahead and peel one of those off. And at this point, you just want to spectate it to see if you see any dust particles anywhere when you are talking about this protector. So let's turn the screen back off. Let's just hit it a few times. Next up, let's go ahead and grab the frame here. All right. So when you're looking at the installation frame right here, it's going to say a uh, top. So you want to put the iPad up to the top. You want to set it in the frame and it sets in here perfectly. Sorry about not having that in frame. So that sets in there perfect. Now what you want to do is when you look at the, the actual screen protector itself, it's going to say remove film. So that's what we're going to do first. 
Let's go ahead and remove the film off the protector. Boom, there you go. And you're gonna wanna turn it around. All right. And then you want to set this down. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. You wanna set this down right on the actual frame itself. All right. And then you wanna press and you wanna slide. Press and slide. Kind of let that thing get here and do its thing. So you wanna do that for a second. All right. And then you wanna take this up here. Boom. So it is installed now. So now all you wanna do is get the bubbles out. You want to play the bubble game. You know the bubble game because sometimes be a little be a little aggravating, but you want to sit here and you can take it out the frame at this point. Let's go ahead and pop it out the frame. All right. So you just want to go out. Make sure you take the time to smooth the bubbles out. All right. So installation done. We smoothed out the bubbles. Try to get it as perfect as we can, and I did pretty good. It's kind of hard when you're on camera. You don't really want to spend too much time wiping it, wiping it clean. So. Pro tip, before you do yours, just make sure you clean it numerous times before you tackle it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to testing out all the things, man. Fingerprints, scratch tests, and we're also going to test to see if the Apple Pen has any latency or anything like that. So let's go ahead and grab my tool, my little multi-tool right here, and we're basically just going to do a scratch test. All right. So here I am, not being soft at all putting some scratches on it. And this is just a multi-tool, kind of like a flat, kind of like a file. And I'm in it. I mean, I am scratching pretty hard. I'm not gonna try to scratch my iPad right there, but <laughs> scratching it, scratching it, scratching it. I am not seeing anything on this. So let's wipe real quick. All right. All right. And taking a look at it inspection, yeah, I'm not seeing a single scratch whatsoever when we are talking about this screen protector. So, so far, pretty good job speaking with doing it, man. No scratches yet. Now, let's go ahead and move to the fingerprints because that's one thing. I don't really trip over fingerprints on the iPad because that's what you're using it for to touch it and interact with it. But a lot of people it just has issue with fingerprints. But let's go ahead and check to see how it does fingerprints and... It's the oleophobic coating, but for me, I feel like it still leaves a decent amount of fingerprints. I, we know it's not going to be fingerprint resistant, but some screen protectors does resist fingerprints better than others. I want to say another one actually, I don't know. You know what I mean? I think they're all kind of about the same. It doesn't leave it super duper smudgy, so I think they're all about the same. You're still going to be able to see fingerprints on it you know what i mean so it is what it is not super fingerprint resistant but that's nothing to really trip about these are made for protection anyways and last but not least let's go ahead and pop it open and let's take it to the sketchbook app and let's bring that brightness down and this is actually from i think my last <laughs> i don't know what this is man i was sketching around messing around with my last something but let's go ahead and take the apple pen and let's apple pencil not pen but let's go ahead and uh, do some marking up. And for me, I don't see any latency going on with this Apple. I don't even know how to spell. Yeah. <laughs> so it not nah, everything seems pretty good. It 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 doesn't seem bad at all. Everything seems pretty smooth. No latency. No delay or anything like that. So. Here it is. This is going to be your Spigen tempered glass screen protector for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch edition. Easy installation for the most part. I kind of rushed through it, but take your time. You can have a perfect installation. Just always make sure you clean your device very well before slapping it down. Other than that, it, it definitely resists scratches. So I would have to say for what everybody should be using it for. Now, if you're scratching this up any deeply, I don't know what you're using your iPad for, but Everybody should be pretty good when we're talking about scratch proof. Yes, you can see a little bit of fingerprints on it, but it's not super duper smudgy and it does not have any latency at all when we are talking about using 
the Apple Pencil. So this definitely looks like another solid option out there so you guys can go out there and protect your iPad Pro screen because we all know these bad boys are a little costly and we don't want to mess up these beautiful screens that we have on them, man. So check out the link down below. Go pick yourself up one for either your 11-inch Pro or your 12.9-inch Pro. And as always, man, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like comment down below. Let me know if there's any other iPad Pro accessories that you guys want to see on the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that sub button, turn that bell on so you don't miss any future accessory video. Catch everybody on the next one. Be safe. Later.